We have seen how we can construct 30, 60 and 120 degree angles individually. But here, we will try to draw all three angle measures together in one diagram. Here's a glimpse of what we're about to see. We draw the initial arm of the angle here. Keep the compass at the end point of the ray. Choose a compass width a little more than half the measure of this length and draw an arc here. With the compass width unchanged, we now draw an arc here. And again, with the compass width unchanged, we draw one big arc here. That's it. We draw three rays at the arc intersections and get 30, 60 and 120 degree measures. Simple, wasn't it? Don't worry, let's erase this and look at it step by step. Let ray BC be the initial arm of each of the angles we plan to construct. First, let us draw a 60 degrees angle. We keep the compass at point B and with a length little over half this length, we draw an arc from above point B intersecting ray BC at point D. In the next step, without changing the width of the compass, we keep it at point D and draw an arc intersecting the previous arc at point A. Then we join points B and A which gives us a ray BA. The measure of angle ABC will be 60 degrees. Now getting the 30 and 120 degree angles is quite simple. We keep the compass at point A and draw a big arc like this which intersects the previous two arcs at points E and F. If we join points B and E to get angle EBC, it will measure 30 degrees. Angle ABC measures 60 degrees and angle EBC measures 30 degrees. To get the 120 degree angle, we join points B and F to get angle FBC. The measure of angle FBC will be 120 degrees. So with the base angle being 60 degrees, we constructed two more angles, half that of 60 degrees and twice that of 60 degrees.